more of third questions. Hello, hi, hello viewers. Right now the time is 2.52 on a Saturday. It's after 2, and that means that after 2 we start doing uh, some kind of a D&D, D&D stream, D&D broadcast. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, Amen Pestilence here, and, um, party, say something. Hey. Hi. Uh, so, Today, um, today, you will find that not only, not only do we have a D&D &D game today, but it's a D&D &D game that you actually might consider watching. Now that's a good deal. You not only have content to view, but it's content that you might like to view today. That's something you don't see very often, do you? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, before we begin our session, we have a word from our sponsors. Nord VPN. <laughs> now, Nord VPN, it is a, um, now it's a virtual private network service provider. What's a virtual private network, you might be wondering? Now, a virtual private network. It's like so imagine if you out you out in the sea, you got on a boat, but your boat got a bunch of holes in it. So all the snakes can go hop up through the holes. Now sure the holes are above water, so you might be thinking there's no problem, the holes are all above water, we're not gonna let water in. But the water snakes can jump in the holes, so that's bad. Key with no VPN, we got a special boat. All the holes are closed with windows. So the water snakes can't jump in. Now that's sure. Sure, that's a that's a great protection against all the hackers who might want to get your data. And it has desktop applications for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and even has Android and iOS um, in an experimental service, which you can get. Now, now VPNs might not now might not motivate you, but here's the thing about another thing about VPNs. It's a browser. It's a free browser. Now you thought, no, you know, no, you thought it was just a protecting your computer in general, but no. You can even browse within the VPN, and you can get all this protection when you're browsing. Now, if you, now, now you can go get it. You can go get it. Just go to the website. You know, just go to Teflon.com. Go to the website, and you can buy yourself some Nord VPN. Now, make sure to buy it soon, because after Adobe Flash Player left, we don't know. Some other services might decide to, uh, go bonk too. So make sure that you get NordVPN and download it before it, uh, decides to walk away. Now, does anyone here, uh, can anyone here give a recap of the last session? Time to do some public service. Yin commits crimes in a church leading to Yin paying for his sins by having a family reunion, aka dying. Helping challenges God with his burden, tries to backpedal out of the fight that he started by dragging the rest of his friends in. Royal just dips. Pan Pan sits there saying nothing like normal. Yin, however, is wondering how they're doing, knowing that he left Rail in charge and not some loud mouth who is too dumb to notice the power gap between them and a god. Elvin distracts the god while single handedly saving his friend's life, and the god is very impressed. He wants to make a deal. However, he already has a deal with his mom. So they shake hands and get teleported to a dark place, and all Elvin sees is. His mom in chains and shackles and the god holding them. Yes. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. You appear to have forgotten yourself. You might have... Sure, I might have wanted to make a deal with you, but that doesn't change the fact that you've sinned. Sure. 
you weren't killed from by stealing from a church, but it, that doesn't change that. Sure, you might have put them back, but you still had the intentions. You were going to just take all those things with no idea what they did. You were going to run. No good intentions, no. You just wanted to keep those for your own good. Hmm? You just wanted to keep them so that you could benefit off them, so you could profit. Not to talk to any deity, because you already had one. I understand that... I understand that... You may think that you were doing the right thing. Oh sure, they don't need it. It's a church. They don't need any more prayer beads. But... I don't understand. I just don't understand. <laughs> so you really think... You're so greedy. So greedy to find the... to go and make some money off of these that you don't stop to consider that. What other church would you find to worship that god? <laughs> Tell me. What other church is there for me? I don't have any others. There's nowhere else you could sell these. Nobody else would want them. Because prayer beads are for a specific deity. Who who do you think would worship him? Who else does? Have you I just anyone? thought that they were pretty. Hmm. I had no intention of selling them. Hmm. No intention. But... If you found a store... A store that bought... Magic items... You would sell them, wouldn't you? Their magic? If anything, these are just some glowing rocks to me. Why would I... First, why would I believe that these are magic? Second, why would I sell it in the first place? I don't need money. I've never used money. And why is she in chains and shackles? You challenged me to a fight. I agreed to fight you. Yet you are trying to bring yourself and your god to this fight. That wasn't part of the deal. <laughs> you said I could have my friends here. Yes, I said that you could have those two friends and that raven. Oh. <laughs> I'm in danger. So I'm just supposed to fight you without power? Without power? What do you mean, without power? I mean, the, the way that you said it, it seemed like I wouldn't be able to use my god in this. Yes, you're not using your god, you're using your own power. I don't think a crossbow and a sickle counts as power. You summoned a raven e earlier. You brought up those Wait. magical illusions. It's her power. I didn't do that. It wasn't me. It was our deal. Maybe deals. Maybe your deity made a different deal with you than I make with my uh, students. What do you offer? Well, no. Look into yourself. Look at. Look at your flow 
of mana. Before, you were like a boulder rolling down a hill. The farther you rolled, the faster you were going as you accelerated. What I've done is stuck a board under you. You haven't slowed down, but you're not accelerating anymore. Even though your god yeah. is in shackles, which suppresses her power, your power isn't suppressed. You've just stopped accelerating. You can't, you're not accelerating anymore. You're not gaining any more ability. You don't have any potential at the moment. But even though you don't have any potential in you, you're still moving. You still have energy. Can't you feel it in you, or are you so detached from your power that you never thought to look into yourself? Uh... This is all really confusing. It... I don't know. You know, well, in order for this, I mean, how do I explain this to a human? Have you ever seen the world from the perspective of a god? Have you ever looked at things? with the knowledge that you could shape everything. Have you ever done that? Or have you only ever seen things as a human would? Well, when I was... when I lived in the forest, I could cut and grow any tree I wanted. You could cut and grow... That is quite a power. More or less just... planting seeds, but yes, I guess that would give me the view of a god. The view of a god. Really? Alright. You know, I'll... I'm not surprised that you would think of yourself that way. No, I'm not surprised. Now, if you were to if you were to kill this deity, if I were to execute your god right now, you would lose all your power if you haven't already. But I'm not going to. I don't intend to. Because... They have not done anything to me. They haven't sinned. They haven't committed any crimes yet. However, if I were to kill your god here, you would lose all your power. Just the same as that if I were to die, then all of my students would lose their power. Now, if, you, if it was that your god made the deal with you, that if she was uh, suppressed, you would not be able to channel energy, then uh, I, I, I don't think that you got quite a good deal. I, I don't think that was a very, uh, fair offer. Because your patron could, you, you know, your patron, your deity, the one you worship, you could... They could, at any point, take away your power, even if they didn't mean to. Even if they decided to just relax, and they quit concentrating on sending you their energies, then wouldn't you... Well, wouldn't you be unable to channel energy? That doesn't sound like a very good deal that you made, if that really is the case. Hey guys, can't stay long. We've got like a ten minute break. Alright, Jen. Alright, Hive. Hive and Yen. 
are here. That's good. But don't you... Don't you think that your god perhaps should have given you the ability to have your power be your own power? I understand that you channel energy, that you channel energy from your deity, but why would you, why, why would she have it so that the gate to the power was within her and not that she set aside a portion that you could access when you wanted? That doesn't really sound very, that, that doesn't sound very, um, fruitful. How old were you when you made this deal? How old were you? Are you checking your notes, Elbin, or do you just not know? <laughs> Boy, are you so confident as to believe that you could make a god be patient and wait for your response? I don't know, he was I thought I was unmuted. I'm fight. so sorry. I thought I was unmuted. Seven when I became in a place of power. Of course. And she was you when she was human, she started so her sword training and became a mighty warrior. No, she didn't become a mighty warrior at the age of seven. She sword trained at the age of seven, so she gave me power at the age of seven. Seven. You must not have had experience in making deals at the time. Of course you wouldn't. If you were seven, then this must have been the first deal that you had made. Of course. Of course you would have chosen that way. You must have sounded quite reasonable to you at the time, didn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, she was the only caretaker I had ever had. Hmm. Trusted her. You're not wrong. You're not wrong for that. It was good for you to trust her. So... What should I do? <sighs> well, I know that if I told you to break your pact, then you wouldn't. Now, I could, I can feel the texture of your power, I could give you the same power, but I know that you won't take my deal, because I know that you value your god too much. He betrayed me. Who betrayed you? She did. When? You just said it yourself. She... that's an unfair deal. Unfair? No. It's quite fair. It's just that my... No, it was a fair trade. It's just that my deal is better. That doesn't... No. Here. So, what do you offer? What's your deal? That all depends on what you're looking for. 
though I do see that your power is hazing. Funny, I didn't think that you would be so dependent on your powers that you would need them to survive, but I do see that, even though you might not feel it now, you are slowly unraveling. I know you can't feel it because your the faint remnants of your power are suppressing the the knowledge that you are, but you are unraveling. I what I want is strength. I don't want to be a normal person. I want to be special. But you are. You are special. What if I told you that there's a possibility that I would leave her to accept your deal? I don't think your deity would like that, but I do believe you that you would. Obin looks at her, then looks at him, holds his hand out and says, Let's make a deal. All right. I know what you want. I can feel it. All right. You'll keep the same powers that you already had. However, you'll be able to access them when you want. And you still d will have potential if you can prove that you can be useful for longer. Yes, if you are, if you continue to be useful, I will give you more power over time, so... Alright then. <laughs> it's a deal then. Okay, now to, uh... Yen. So. Be back in like 20 minutes. Alright. Howdy. Hey. So, uh... I've thought about this... Yeah. So... Hey, uh... What do you say? I pl and uh fair bit about this, eh. but it, since it seems like they're in another dimension, I, my plan's not going to really work, so basically, since Yen is, as far as I know, Yen's still sitting on that pillar. Do you want to be? I mean, as my narrative was, Yen was sitting on the pillar, waited for them for, like, an hour, realized they weren't coming, and then just Picked up his bird, flung it out, and then just followed it off into a direction. All right. He would be a horse at this point, also, because 
Do you know the direction to go, or would he have to guess? To where? I mean, just like... A way the... out of here. Uh, would he know a way to get out of here now? Okay. He wouldn't have wasted a wild shape yet. At this point, I mean... he has one plan, and he is casting Animal Messenger on... Thing, animal Messenger on my burb. And he will try to describe Rail as a short, bland human wearing frilly clothes, uh, one scar that no one seems to talk about, and just hope that they'll get over to Rail. Since they will go into that direction, I'm hoping it will lead me to Rail. It's just Rail. I'm saying the name weirdly for no reason. It's Rail. Um, you said, okay, so, you said you're, which animal did you say you were sending? Uh, my burb, bourbon. Well, it's, the it's bird, flying one the bird, um, pecks at the ground. How curious. I don't have seek with animals prepared, so I can't do anything with, I can't ask them, but... I'll take this as a small sign, and I will turn into... I will lovingly turn into a mole, since that is the only thing I can do. And I will begin digging down. Since Yin believes that if it can't get down there, then it's probably its way of showing it. Hmm. Yes. A way of showing up. Nice. <laughs> that's, uh, let's see. I've, uh... By the way, uh, just for a clarification now, if I if I uh, use wild shape, do my animals like wild do animals just disappear within me, or are they just plop onto the ground like next to me? Well, okay. If you send them out, then they're on the ground. If you like. Like, if you want, but, like, if you, like, you know, like, keep your snake around your neck and you hold your bird on your shoulder, then yes, they go into you. Okay, okay, good. Because I was not about to just leave them into in just death field. Yeah, so, we're all a mole now. So, you said you're going to dig down, then. Is that what you said? Yep. You as did. I can go. Um, you dig, and you feel the soft, fine sand begin to get more coarse. Until eventually, it feels as though you're... Until eventually, you're... You get to... Sand that is so large grain that it's almost gravel. Seems something important is down here. Either that or just the geology of it, it's just weird. It's difficult to dig through this gravel, but eventually you get down to a layer that is feels like solid like solid bedrock deep underneath the surface. Hmm. Does it feel like I could blast through it if I was in my normal form? 
Yes. Okay. I'd like to dig a little area that I would be able to like to make a little area underground that I'd be able to like stand up in. You can't. As... Okay. You can, the the you can dig enough to have a space big enough to accommodate yourself as a mole, but in order for you in order to create a human sized space, you would have to be as big as the space because otherwise it'll just because like it it fill the 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 ground fills in the area behind you because it's not like you know what I mean it's kind of loose ground so it fills in the area behind you. if I try to dig under there then the ground will just fill it and there will just be a slope from the top down yeah okay would I be able to dig up and then blast uh something through the hole if I dig up, could I? Would I have a straight shot to the bedrock? If I try and blast something from the into the hole, there wouldn't there 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 wouldn't really be a hole. Okay, okay. A little more difficult than I thought. Sand mm. kind of flows. I mean, if this was soil, like like you know, like moist soil, yeah, then yeah you might have a hole, but this is sand okay okay so it's more like a tunnel type thing okay yeah um breaks over i'm sorry guys i gotta go all right have fun i will try but i have to move a ton of stuff still see ya <laughs> yeah Come to that part of the video where I need to go give some content. So, imagine this. Imagine this. What if? What if? This is a very foreign concept that you might not have heard of. What if? Rael said something. Amazing. You might not have heard of this, but what if they did? Uh, I was I was trying to think what to say, and the only thing that comes to my mind is Rael having a men a mental breakdown. Could do that. Hmm. Ah, uh, just, just what is happening? What is going on? Just first, first thing. The sun just is is gone because of whatever reason then strange things start happening all around then suddenly out of nowhere um Yen turns into a crystal I, I think and then Elvin just what in the world was he thinking that made him think challenging a god was a good idea. Just, just why? Why is that a thing? Wait a minute. I should be, I should be looking over them. 
What are we doing? Uh, I'm terrible at this. Thought it would be easier. Uh, Very hmm. <laughs> all right, all right. Just, just calm down. Calm down. And let's think this through. Yen is gone, which automatically makes me the one in charge. Elvin decides to do something stupid again. Pan Pan is sitting around doing nothing. Um. Okay, so... How do I... How do I manage this situation? Okay. Okay. Oh. First things first. Elvin is still a problem. He's still over there. Doing... Whatever. Yeah, I think I should go check on him. See if he... Doesn't die or something. And he'll start making his way back to Elvin. Elvin is sitting on the on the sand with their eyes glittering with all the colors of the galaxy. They don't have any like whites of their eyes, no pupils, no nothing of that. No, their eyes are just celestial. That is what you see when you look into them, Rael. Alright. Yeah, they, this seems very normal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's see. What can I do? Mm. Elvin! Elvin! Elvin, are you there? Ah, ah. Rail? <laughs> Aren't oh, you, there you are. six towns away or something by now? I mean, yeah, I was originally going somewhere far away from all this madness. Then I remember that I left you two alone. And I came back. Oh. Oh. Y yeah, everything's fine. We're all good.
good. Great. Nothing happened. All right. Uh, so. There's Pan Pan. Uh, I don't know. I guess he's sitting over there or something. Question, does Elbin still have the yin crystal? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, so we have some... Some things in our hand. By the way, how did it... How did your little little thing with the with this this god went? I see um, that you're not dead, so something must have happened with that. Left. He just right, I'm... left. I'm assuming someone called upon him and he had to go. I'm just gonna take your word for it, since, since you're. Elbin looks yours. down. Are you really still here? Oh, am I actually dead? Are we dead? He just frantically starts just checking. <laughs> I don't think we're dead. Know who is de dead though? Yin. So, um, gotta figure out a way to get him back. Yeah, yeah, we do. I'm not fit to be the captain, and you just. I want Yin back. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's really difficult to. To do this, I don't know how he does it. Anyways, yeah, I think we should just just talk this out and see what and see what we can do to maybe get him back. That does not include fighting a god. First of all, got it. Um, it is still dark. Is like, is the sun still gone? Yes. All right. I think our priorities right now are one, um, get Yin back, and two, find out what happened to the sun. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, well, let's, let's take this one meter at a time, at a time. Do you have any idea how to get him back from that? And he points at the crystal. No. Oh. I mean, we could take it to the Blurf Stone and see if it reacts. Because, I mean, we know by now the Blurf Stone is magic. Yeah, and it, it, and it almost killed you. Almost killed me. So maybe it can bring him back. I don't know about you, but that doesn't really sound like a great idea. Because... We don't know exactly what that what that rock is capable of. It could just destroy him completely. You do make but a good point. Know. 
Well, maybe we should first examine the crystal that he dissipated into, don't you think? You also make another good point. Okay, so... Uh, Rail's gonna... Um, uh, check the crystal. Elbin will do the same. Okay, so you said that you're going to go take the crystal and throw it at the stone. That's what I heard you say. No, no, no. No, no, nobody said that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we we are going we are going to first we are going to check the crystal at Yin disappeared into first before doing anything else. Yeah, we're gonna check it, not chuck it. And so, what are you checking it for? Mm. Uh, Any sign yeah, of Yin. That's what Elbin's searching for. Rail's gonna try to see if, uh, like, what exactly this crystal is. How about? Um, you... Now I'm gonna ask. You can try to figure out what the crystal is. Now... Are you going to use a spell to figure it out what it is? Or are you going to try to find out by doing a check with one of your skills? A check. Check. Now, would you prefer to do a arcana check? Would you prefer to do a history check? Or would you prefer to do a religion check? Rail's gonna... I'm gonna do Arcana. Um... Hang on. Religion, I guess. Religion. You're gonna do a religion check to see what the crystal is. Alright. Roll. I need a second, because I accidentally logged out of D&D Beyond. And I didn't realize until just now. Say you rolled. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's loading in right now. Mm. Sixteen. So 
16. Well, a 16 will tell you, it will tell you that this is a soul crystal. Now, the thing about a, that you can remember about a soul crystal is that it is what happens to somebody when they die on holy land that they don't have their body dead nor do they burn up in flames like they would on profane land but here they have a soul crystal Is there any way to reverse it? Do I remember how to reverse a soul crystal? You can find your god. You can talk to a god, and if he is jealous, if you are kind, then you can... Oh, hold up, you're asking me. Wait, I meant to say that in my head. Why did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> That's unrelated to our conversation. Why did I say that out loud? <laughs> so, the you can reverse it if a god is gracious enough, specifically the god of that holy land. The god can reverse it. Elvin, do you have any ideas? No. Nope. Alright. I so... doesn't ring a bell. Okay. So... Maybe if we, maybe if we ask someone uh, that has a little bit more experience with this kinds of thing, with these kinds of things, maybe we'll we'll get answers. Say that again. Maybe if we ask uh, someone with more experience with this kinds of thing, maybe then we'll get an answer. Off to the priest we go. All right. Obin lets out a huge sigh. Is is Pampan anywhere to be seen? Pan Pan is just kind of sitting. Hey you if you're not gonna follow us, just stay there. We'll find you later. Yeah, don't move in risk of getting lost. Or getting lost in a ditch like that last town. Was that in this town? I don't remember. Honestly, it could have been anywhere. 
Either way, don't move. He gives you a thumbs up. Perfect. And we're getting to see the priest. You enter. Uh, by this point, um, the priest has, um, he's no longer, you know, preaching at people, and he's kind of like reading a book, while the other, the other people are kind of on the floor, just kind of like reading some things. It's not like they're all reading the same book, it's not, they're just all reading various different books on the floor, because for reasons. I'm not sure why, but that's, they're just, all just reading. Hey, priest. You're gonna give us answers, and you're gonna give them to us now. He holds out the rock at him. Hey, yo, man. Why you think I'm gonna tell you something? Why you think I'm gonna tell you something? You come in here, and you tell me that I'm gonna give you some answers. I'm not gonna give you some answers right now. Let me tell you, why do you think I need to tell you something? Why do you think I need to tell you something? Because I know some people. What? Shut up, Harry. Oh, okay. What my what my companion here is is try try to say is uh we have a situation and we think that maybe you could help us. <laughs> I um. Uh, mm. Yeah, you, uh, you got a situation. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, hold up. Eh. Uh, that angel guy ain't out there anymore. Let me ask you. Did you, uh, did any of you, uh, any you talk to him? Maybe, uh, <laughs> did, uh, did, uh, what, what did you do? Did you talk to him? Did he, or did he leave on his own? Uh, I mean, I talked to him, but yeah, he left on his own. He left on his own, and you talk. What do you say? Did you buy any? Ch oh, let me. Oh, you went and talked to. Ah, uh, you went to talk to. You went to talk to him. Okay, okay. Let me, a let me ask. Let me ask. Um, did he tell you anything about uh? Tell you anything about some blood? Did he tell you about blood? No. Didn't, didn't tell you about blood. Well, let me ask, did you, uh, didn't tell you anything about blood? Well, if he didn't tell you anything about blood, then did you, uh, did, did you talk to him about, uh, maybe green? Anything green? Uh, yeah, I guess. Anything gr oh, you've talked to him about something green. Alright, alright. Well, there we go. Alright. So... And what, what, uh, what's, what's about? What, what happened? What, what's, what's his green? What would you talk about with him that was green? Forest, my home. Yeah, the forest. The forest, your home, okay, okay. Uh, did you, uh, did, did he, uh, did, did he take you there? Did, did he take you there? Did he, like, go bibbidi boobity bop bop We're out there in the forest. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Yeah, I'll bet, I'll bet he took you out to the forest, right? That's what he does. Let me tell you something. Takes you out to the fort. He took you out to the fort where you came from, right? He, he showed you around. He showed you, ah, this is where you used to be. He's another place where you used to be. That's what happened, right? That's what you did. Oh. No. no, you didn't do that. Oh, you didn't do that. Okay, okay. Then, uh, then, then, then why would you talk to him then? Well, what you do? Uh -huh. What did you do? Did you, uh, did you like, uh, <laughs> did you like, uh, maybe pay him to, uh, you know, maybe like, uh, maybe like a. Give you a little feather? No. Sir, we would just like to know about the crystal. He stopped asking us questions. Okay, okay. You wanna know about the crystal? Well, uh... Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that before. Where'd you get it from? Where'd you get it? My friend dissolved into it. Hmm. Interesting shape, yes. Very interesting shape. Uh, your friend dissolved into it. Hmm. So what happens? Somebody, uh, somebody cast a spell? Did you, did you cast a spell on him? Your friend? Oh, he died? He died. At the church. Here. It's kind of your fault, but not gonna get into that. It's my. F <laughs> you're gonna come into my church, and you're gonna tell me that your friend is dead because of me. Yeah, we are getting into that. You can't just come into my church. And say that your friend is dead because of me. Slowly. Don't be on the church ground. Yes, I'm going to say that. Elbin also walks out. If Elbin walks out. Like backing away. He walks backwards. Okay. So he's not on the church ground in case he messes up. Oh, yes, it is your fault. He's dead. Everybody on the ground is watching you now. Why? Why does he do this? <laughs> now, why don't you give me an explanation? Why don't you tell me? Well, if you weren't here at this exact moment, at this exact time, you wouldn't be dead. Well, there's a lot of things that happen because somebody's in a certain place at a certain time. He lied to protect me on your church grounds, and then he died. Oh, God. He's dead because of me. If I didn't try to steal those balls, Excuse he wouldn't be what? dead. You were, oh, he lied on church ground. He lied here in our place. And our God, our merciful Lord, has decided to give him the way. God decided to purify him of his lies. And he turned him into this crystal where he can sit and he can think about what he's done. Our God is a merciful God. He will wash away your friend he will wash away the bad thing that he did here there is no problems there are no problems here no problems let me tell you something let me tell you something yes Someone who wants to tell us something, you're very quiet. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I am. But try this on for size. Let's say. Let's say that you were able 
take your friend eh, bring him back from being dead what would you do then what would you do he's sure he may not be dead but he will not he maybe maybe you might interrupt the time when our lord is speaking to him when our lord is telling him the right way when our lord is telling him how he went the wrong way and our lord is trying to tell him how he can improve what if you tried to take him out and you found that maybe maybe our lord may not have finished now i'm sure i'm sure our lord is perfect he is perfect and if he is uninterrupted then he will do this well so sure, you may think so sure, you may think oh well if you can interrupt him then surely he isn't perfect <laughs> well maybe maybe he knows that you care about your friend and maybe he's gonna release your friend to come to you maybe so he does he can show that he cares you can he can show that he cares by releasing your friend to you. Now, you might say that that may not be the real way. That may not be the way to purify him because God did not purify him. But let me tell you something. God knows the right way. If God had chosen that he is going to send your friend back because you want to talk. Then God will have been doing the right thing by sending your friend back. Maybe he did purify him. Maybe he did not purify him. But in any way, in any case, even if he has not done it fully, this one thing. Maybe he got rid of this one thing. At least, let me tell you something. That. Now, you seem to really want to take your friend out of this prison. Well, I can't fault you for that. Because my friend was caught. If my friend was caught in the crystal, I would also want to take him out. But here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to ask. You're going to have to go put your hands together. You're going to have to go. You know how to use those beans. You know how to communicate with our Lord and Savior. You know how to do this. Okay, th need to talk. thank you for for your for your advice. We'll we'll be going now and put that into practice. And he is going to try to get Elvin out <laughs> as he's getting out of the church. So, a priest isn't nice. Yeah, you also weren't very nice when you started talking to him. I just had some simple demands. Alright, alright. I'm not even surprised that Yin is that Yin is dead because of you. But what I am but just uh, just how 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 have how didn't you realize until this exact moment? Well, and I guess I kind of knew, but I didn't want to be responsible for his death, so I tried to put the blame on somebody else. All right, all right. Uh, that, that thing that the priest was talking about, that you um, know 
how to communicate with the deity and, and stuff. How are you going to do that exactly? I wouldn't know. What, do you think that all gods know each other? Albin uh, puts his, crosses his arms and looks away. I, I, you must be this difficult. We should have, we should have just left you in the fucking way. <laughs> I'm not deaf. Well, good thing to know. <sighs> anyway, so that's a thing. We sort of have an answer. And now, yeah. there has to be another way, right? I, I mean, if the ultimate, if the ultimate, uh, solution to this is just to wait for Yin to come back then <sighs> I'm not, not suited for this okay so let's leave that at the that on hold for now, I guess. We can leave it at. Yin will come back. Eventually. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, the other thing. The freaking sun is gone. Why? And I don't know if you've noticed, but the ocean, the fact that there's an ocean scares me, and the fact that it's rising. What? <laughs> what has happened in the background? What was that? It's a child. <laughs> Very small child. <laughs> also just had surgery, so his feelings are kind of... I'll just mute myself and mm. in, in, unless Elbin's is me. Ooh. Did that um That's a problem. That's uh that's a... Uh... Your uh that that your um that good good luck to that child. Don't don't die, child. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. I may not have ever met this child, but all lives matter. I promise you, he's like, fine. Yeah, all lives matter. I don't want this child to die. <laughs> Just don't don't. <laughs> yeah. Back to the roleplay. 
Rail just realizes there's water. <laughs> Oh, oh, that, that is another thing. All right, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, it, the, did, um, Yin ever say how the worm was dealt with? I get that, um, the god defeated him and killed it, but did it say how? No. Yin did not explain that. I think we gotta go up there to it. What? I mean, if nothing's gonna stop it, why not it be us? We can take it on. Can take it. Sure, we'll we've been we've been able to take on nothing and and the only and the only member of of this group that has ever done something is Nibbles. I'll be Sure we Sure um, we can solve the problem of the sun being gone. <clears throat> I just love how our characters don't know that the sun is, um, billions and billions of miles away. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure about that? <coughs> oh no. I, <coughs> I did not like that response. <laughs> what evidence, what evidence do you have that it's billions of miles away? Like in game or in real life? Because I'm game. sorry if I messed up on it being. Oh, well, I mean, I guess there is none. But assuming that it's a world that's, I guess, somewhat similar to ours. Yeah, I mean, anyway, <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to see how you would respond to that. Anyway, so continue. <laughs> I'll be rushing over to the water and just use the shape water to start building a nice tower. you there why why do you think this is a good idea because it's I better cannot, to be I cannot begin to understand what happens in your mind Something's dangerous, like we can easily die from it, and um, it's rising at a steady pace. I think being higher would help us. Yeah, but do you not consider that maybe, just maybe, we aren't strong enough? Do, do you ever think about that possibility? So what should we do? You're the captain now, so... I'm not... I'm not... 
hundred percent sure on what we should do. Well, I mean, this idea is better than no idea. Yeah, but being a bad idea, I think having no ideas is better. Elbin unfreezes the bottom and it all comes crashing down. Well, except for the top block, yes. Tell me you can see that. I think you forgot the top one. I'm pretty sure all of it would fall if I just melted the bottom. That's not natural. Has any of the things that have happened since we got here seem natural? Like the ocean just going away for like a few days and then coming back? You make a good point. So, I want to go up there, investigate. I mean, yeah, sure, we could we could do that. All right, let's do that then. Make some stairs up to that um block and start and walks on it. Hmm. Do you not hear me? You said you're going to make a staircase. Yeah, up to that block. Okay. Whenever he walks on it, does anything happen? I mean, it the the stairs don't move. Like I mean, the block. The block doesn't move either. But when you do make a staircase, you find that you can't get any stairs within about five feet of the block. Like, there's just like some five foot radius of where you try to put a stair there, but you can't. You can't get it in. And at some point, when you finally do force the stair to be there, it kind of curves <laughs> in an arc <laughs> and so so yeah you step up to it all the way over to the block um you get up there but you're about five feet away um I mean it's ice so like y normally you could jump onto this but it's ice so y you're gonna you're gonna fall off <laughs> if you try <laughs> what if he um, uh, what if he uses his sickle to, like, um, put it, whenever he jumps on it and he starts to fall off, like, jam the sickle in it? So, so wait, is it like a, like, like a, like a regular sickle or is this like a chain sickle? Just as regular sickle, it's like it's shaped like a crescent moon with a handle on the bottom. Hmm, regular sickle. Uh, yeah, that probably would work. Are you gonna jump onto the right. block? Yeah. Do I have to roll anything? No, you can jump five feet. 
Um, I mean, you fall down once you hit it, but you're able to grab it with your sickle because it's not very difficult to do that. Like, yeah. Rail, hurry it up. Wait, hold on. Okay. What was Rail doing? I don't remember. Uh, I don't know, I just... I, I, I think Elvin and I had different ideas of what was I doing. Um, I imagine that, yeah, Elvin uh, went up the stairs that he made onto the block, and then Rael just uh, started was still on the ground looking at him in case anything happened hmm So, is it, is it solidly stuck there or something? It's stuck. Alright. Wait. Oh, hold on. Just make sure I heard you correctly. You said you're going to take your crossbow and shoot the bottom of the block of ice. You asked if the, if the crossbow stuck in it. I said yes, the crossbow bolt stuck in it. That's what that's what happened, right? Or did I misinterpret no. you? No. Okay, that's now okay. No. <laughs> I'm... Interesting take. <laughs> What'd you say, then? <laughs> so what I said was uh, that I stayed on the ground okay. looking up at Elvin going to the block and I stayed there to make sure Nothing happened. Ah. Yeah, no zombies crawl out of the ground. The ice doesn't start wiggling. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's good. So, Elvin! <sighs> Do you see anything weird from up from up there? Do I? I mean, you can see. Uh, well, Rael can see Elvin up there. Uh, it's not like Elvin disappeared once they got into the block. Is the, what, what, you asked if you could see Elvin there. Yeah, you can. If then, if that's not what you asked, which it probably isn't, because I've been mishearing a lot of things. What did you ask? No, no, that that's what I asked. Yeah. Okay. And then we asked, um, does he see anything? Does Elvin see anything? Oh. Yeah. Um. Sand. It's just a sandy expanse. In the ocean. The ocean is very... Well, you see, the ocean is uh, not very... It, I mean, it's translucent. It's, it's not like you can see all the way to the bottom of the uh, ocean floor, but... 
you know, you can see a good distance uh, out. I mean, you can't see any farther than you could earlier. Because the farthest away you can see is, you know, it's like covered by fog. Like, okay, what do I mean by that? Like, it's not like there's a fog so that things get progressively, like, foggier as they go. It's that in all directions, the farthest you can see away is a wall of fog. There is lots and lots of fog. Yeah, but in between you and the wall of fog, it's clear. There's no dust, no fog in the air, it's clear air. Does he see anything unnatural about the sky? Other than it being black, no. Are there any stars? There are zero stars in the sky, except for the sun. The sun's the only star in the sky. There are at night, but not now. Okay. Well, Bean just, um, looks up there, holds his hands, um, towards his mouth, and, um, is hey worm guy we'd appreciate if we could have the sun back Rail just face palms at this point as Elvin is saying that it's better than nothing Rail it's better than doing nothing Like someone I know. <laughs> Does he get a response? Does anything at all happen? <laughs> The sky does not respond. All right, all right, Elvin, just just come down, come down. Elvin, walk. Elvin muted himself in the middle of the sentence. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Elvin walks down. Okay. Uh. You do, I mean, a bit slowly to avoid slipping, but you, you walk down the stairs without much issue. Nice. Okay, so clearly the the plan of fighting the thing that uh, that's blocking the sun, it's not gonna work apparently. Now that we've proven that that even being higher does anything. Uh. No, when you see when you're higher, 
I mean, when you're higher, you know you don't see any further. Now, this is different to back when you were on the regular. The regular. Not the sand, but when you were on the regular. I meant to say grass, why am I saying regular? When you were on the grass, back when, before you came through the portal. Yeah, when you were on the ocean. Yeah, when you were on the sea. You could see farther if you were higher. But now you're not, but now that isn't happening. Now that you're in this sandy place. Mm -hmm. Um, Elbin looks like he's contemplating something, and then eventually says, Help. Go talk to the priest guy and see if he can figure out anything about the, um, about the missing son. I'll stand right here. Okay, I guess. Okay. When um rail is out of sight, oh, I'm gonna cast form of dread, and then fiery wings sprout out of his back. How? As that's what form of dread does. It um puts you in a form. That represents your deity. Ah, uh, yes. Alright. And then he flies up as far as he can. Since one of you, that's... And it, that, that, wait, since one of that being able to let you fly? <laughs> that is a good question. I mean, I remember reading that it could let you fly. And I'm assuming wings allow you to fly. I mean, if this doesn't work, I'll just call that big black bird. You're trying to tell me Form of Dread at second level can make you fly. <laughs> well, let, let's see right That's here. That's really strong for, set for a second level ability, I'm just saying. Like, it is. <laughs> Wait. Is um does Zelbin have to change his um his deity class? At first it was the undead. But now that I, do I have to change it? And now do you see? Cause just 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 think. I don't think Elbin has form of dread anymore. Anyway, um, I go change that now, dude. Dude, whatever. Um, he <laughs> didn't say anything different. You should tell me. No, you don't have to change that. It's still the same. And what did he tell you? That you bring up a good point. Never mind. I'll stop right there. Back to the, back to our original thing. Is he flying? No. <laughs> he can levitate, but I don't. Does Form of Dread let you fly? Is that a thing it can do? Because I don't think it does. That, w that wouldn't make I sense. Swore, I, I could have swore I read that it um, changes you into a... Um, I, why can't I think of it now? I'm trying to find it. I, I, I imagine that even if Form of Dread could do that, it'll be, it would be at a higher level. I mean, it's a first level spell. What? Hmm? 
It's a first level spell. I mean, you get it at first level. From a dragon? Yeah, it, it will be. It would be a little bit broken if from the beginning, from the beginning of a game, you could just fly around. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to figure it out. Because I just know for a fact that um, its whole thing is that it changes you into a, um, into a representation of your deity and I feel like if you had wings sprouting out of your back you'd be able to fly well you see you can levitate above the ground a bit you know you can rise up with using the power of wing, but it, like, and so, no, it doesn't happen that you can fly around, but, like, you can avoid falling into a deep hole. Like, if there's a deep hole, if it's too wide, then you'll, I mean, then eventually you'll sink below the the other side, but, like, if you go quickly over a hole, you can probably, like, get to the other side before you, like, be, like, you know, like, drift down too low. Well, this just sucks. Adelbean only realizes that he can hover off of the ground. Um, he just stops. Sounds very in character. <laughs> hey, what happened to the big black bird? Is there a... Um, is there a, like... Small... Is there a time period after, um, after you, after you get a familiar that it just, um, that it, it just goes away or is it always there? Well... It doesn't leave. No, it does not leave. Um, Mr. Raven, can you pick me up as high as you can? Is he able to? I'm up. Well, slowly, but yes. I want to point out, as Rael walks away from him, he suddenly has this shiver that just tells him, like, on the back of his mind, that's telling him, he's, he's about to do something stupid again. I just can't feel it. Does Rail have the spidey senses of stupidity? <laughs> yeah, let's... Yeah, let's say that.
So can um, Elbin see anything different now that he's on his um, Raven? Well... No. You can still... I mean, you can see the village from the top, you can see the ocean from the top, but you don't see any farther away, and all around you is just... sand. Like, I, I mean, sure, there's, like, a few little, like, small, like, creatures that are, like, nocturnal creatures that are kind of, you know, like, walking around in various spots, but, like, that's not... It's not, you know, it's not, like, a big notice, you know, it's just... Mm-hmm. At some point while you were looking around, something looks off. Like, every time you look around, some you know that there's something different each time you look, but you don't know what it is. Like, I mean, animals, no, not that. Like, like, there's something different about the geography, but you can't tell what's different about it. And you feel like it keeps changing as you look around, but you can't tell what's different. So... Um, it, I can tell that something is different, I just don't know what. Well, um, uh, pardon, did you ask me a question? What do you say? Yes. Well, what do you say? So, um, I can tell that something is different, I just don't know what. Yes, I mean, you can tell that there's something different. Would you like to try to figure it out? Sure. That will be a, uh, <coughs> this will be... Investigation. Got it. Cause, cause, Investigation. Cause... Fifteen. So you got a fifteen. So, you think that some of the sand dunes, you know, are in different places. It's not one in particular, but it looks like all the sand dunes are generally moving to, like, the, they're mo generally, it looks like they're kind of like moving in the direction you came from. Now being tell that this is most likely a creature under the sand. Does he think that at least? What what you said? What you said? Can you see the sand actively moving, or is it just when you look away and look back? I think that's what you asked, in which... What? It's not. That's not what you asked, okay. No. Um, I asked. Um, would Elbin be able to 
know or think that this is most likely a creature under the sand? Well, yes, they do think it is. Right, after saying this, um, Elbean flies b back down immediately and tries to find Rail. But one observation, though, that you're noticing is that the village is in the same spot. The dunes are moving independently of the village. That's something you should note. That's something important. Got it. What's Rail doing? So, uh... After, uh, that little... That little tingling sensation that Elvin was about to do some... Something... <laughs> that potentially was useless. Uh, he continues to go uh, to to the priest to talk about uh, this this legend of of the worm and their deity. Wait, you said something about meeting a guy called Dirty Dave? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no Dirty Dave! Uh, I think you're the one having connection problems this session. It's not connection problems. Yeah. <laughs> no, my connection's fine. It's just that... It's a hearing problem. Telling yourself that. Nah. It's just that y'all have not d decided to download NordVPN, and this has been causing you some problems. It's been causing us some problems because y'all didn't download NordVPN. How do you know? <laughs> we wouldn't be having these problems if you were using NordVPN. <laughs> <laughs> what I said was that uh, <laughs> Rails at the church uh, learning about uh, the legend of the worm and and the god. <laughs> Okay, you're learning about the legend of the worm. I mean, you can't get really, I mean, like, you hear many different stories, like, you can, I mean, there is no real book for this, but you ask people, and, like, because another thing, you saw people reading books, when you look closely, the books are all blank, but like they'll turn pages every so often, and they'll look like the people are really engrossed in them because they're still reading. And but it's blank. Anyway, you ask around trying to get a figure out what the story of the worm is. People tell you different stories, very conflicting stories, all different things, and they all act like they saw it firsthand, which is rather odd to you. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I was the only one there. Everybody else left, right? Everybody says that same thing, right? That they were the only one who saw this event, that they were the only person who truly knows what happened. 
and there is a lot of different stories. Some people say that there was a great skull that lifted from the ground to fly up into the sky and eat the sun. Some people said that they saw that they heard a strange and enchanting melody come from the sky, while other people described it as a sort of metallic screaming. Some people say that they could see a worm as it twisted through the sky, while other people say that there was no worm and the sky just turned black. It's right. everyone you asked said tonight. something different. All right, this is more difficult than I previously thought. I'm assuming by the time that Rail asked everybody what happened, um, that Albany's just bursting through the door saying something's coming. People talk super fast. You hear a great roar emit from the sky as you as a metallic right there's a there's a roar followed by a sort of beginning of what sounds like wind chimes but very loud they're almost deafening from the sound of these chimes they're melodic but as everyone rushes outside You see that All right. in front of the sun, rather than the sun being, rather than there being, there being a disk of which has the haloed by the sun, instead there is some great lizard-like creature. Its wings spread, and it's and it's with three long necks. You can feel its presence pushing on you like a great weight, and you struggle to keep your footing. Elvin, I'm going to what end the, the session. fuck did you summon? <laughs> I didn't summon anything. I'm going to end the session. All right. I'll see you guys. So, um, thank you. This. <laughs>